Hi everyone, it's Gothic Man here. Today I'm going to talk really well on my channel. I'm going to try and talk about some of the very influential and iconic characters to the Gothic subculture. These characters have shaped um, the way we think, the way we look at the subculture. They've had a very big impact. They've influenced people. They're very... We, we, us girls idolise them. Just, and to be honest, we might want to be them in a little way. So today, this video, I'm talking about my idol, which is Morticia Adams. Yes, she is one of my idols, even though she's a fictional character. I still idolise her. Um, there are others like Lily Munch and Elvira that also come into this but today I want to talk about Morticia Adams and a little bit of the history of Morticia Adams and kind of why us goffy girls love Morticia Adams. So when you think of Morticia Adams you think of her as the perfection of gothic mother or she's just gothic perfection just with her body shape and the dresses she wears but she's also she's dark she's sexy she oozes that dark elegance that a lot of us strive for when you first when you first saw Morticia Adams she was actually a cartoon character drawn by Charles Adam and he He based her off his wife, Barbara. Um, you know, why we love her is she's just that goddess. She's that gothic goddess. And a lot of us grew up watching her as a kid. Some of us that didn't, you know, get the benefits, would, some that didn't get the benefits of the movies to grow up with, would, may have grown up with the cartoon drawing comics that were turning up in newspapers and magazines um and yeah it's basically we want her life in a little way her lifestyle the way she just composes herself like it's okay you just want that um you know of course we know morticia adams is you know part of the adams family she's the wife to go mass mother to Wensley, Wednesday and Pugsley and later on Pubert Adams in one of the later movies done by a different actress. Charles Adams' cartoon was in the New Yorker magazine in the 1930s so of course I'm too young to have even experienced those cartoons. Um, she was described at the time as vampire looking or vampress. She was very slim, extremely pale skin, long flowing straight black hair, wearing black all the time, make you know, to match her hair, form fitting with a hobby skirt. According to Wednesday Adams, and one of the things is she would use baking powder to her face instead of actual makeup because she couldn't get the right paleness. Yo, know, so in the black and white movies, she was done by Carolyn Jones. Beautifully done. I love Carolyn Jones portrayed as Morticia Adams. She's got a more kinder looking face, but it's still got that same appeal. Um, I love my favourite episode of the cut, the Black and Whites, was when they get married. Gomez and Morticia Adams marry, and that's love at first sight. And she looks like Wednesday Adams, but she's a full grown woman looking like Wednesday Adams and then she puts on her elegant black dress as her wedding dress and they get married and he's just like you know you look amazing and she's like I'm never taking it off so she's technically wearing her wedding dress all through the series she just that's the dress she is wearing but yeah black and white ones are just my favorite Later on, they brought in movies like the, the Adams Family 1991 movie, 
and the, I think Angelica Hudson plays her and Adam's Family Varieties in 1993. So I'm a 90s kid. I was born in 1990. So I grew up as a kid with Adam's Family. I, I just can remember first watching them movies and just being in awe of them. My mother grew up with Lily Munch, so I didn't really see Morticia Adams from my mum. I saw a little bit of the Munches because that's what my mum kind of liked. So she was a bit like, oh, Morticia's a little bit like Lily Munch. Um, but yeah, it's all, she's, she's always got that illusion of a ghostly glow around her eyes, which this is more you see in Angelica's version of Morticia Adams. So they played around her eyes a little bit more to give a more you know, dim lighting effect, a more darkier sort of effects to her. So I think Angelica plays Morticia Adams just as well as Carolyn did. I think they're both brilliant and I've got no... I can't differentiate any of the two and I can't complain about both of them because I will still happily watch both of them hundreds of times over and still love the whole concept of Adam's Family. Later on, Adam's Family, about the 1998, they made a Adam's Family reunion type series and come out with like a new Adams Family animated type of series but I'm not sure like they talk there's talk that the anime was done back in the 1973s but I'm not 100% sure on the you know specifics of that but I have seen little snippets of the anime it's kind of quirky and it try, tries to bring like a kitty appeal to the adams family because um you know they're a bit too old in a sense for kids so they tried to bring the cartoons out to you know get kids more involved with the adams family um but now what's been happening with adams family now is there's been Broadway musicals done now and I think a Nancy um, Lillian does Morticia Adams now in the musicals I haven't seen them but I've heard of it um, and there's a few other people have come along and portrayed Morticia Adams if you remember the series Walt Disney's um, Duck Witch Duck, um, Magician Deem Spell, yeah, Mag, yeah, I'm blacking that on that one, but yeah, I think it was, um, it's an, I grew up with it, I'll put the picture there of it, to, you know, explain to you who I'm on about, because, but basically, this duck character has been, her look and the way she is, is actually a mimic of Morticia Adams. And I did grow up with these cartoons. It's just, it is completely blank to my mind at this moment in time. But basically, the essence of Morticia Adams, everyone still in the gothic community talks highly of her always comes around you see tumblr pictures of it and just it's everywhere and i could pretty much hands down say nearly every goth loves adam's family or have at least seen adam's family and know what i'm talking about but i think she's a very empowering um character for the goth world i think she empowers women like that have been in the subculture for years or just starting she's very empowering and I, I can proudly say I idolize Morticia Adams this is pretty much my best attempt at explaining Morticia Adams I hope this was helpful for people 
that didn't quite know. Maybe I have rekindled some love of more love of Morticia Adams. But thank you for watching and just you know, comment, message, surprise, let me know what you guys think. Bye.